But first, uh, I'm actually, before I progress on with my normal slides, I just want to um, say in response to Alex's talk, as an immigrant to New Zealand, um, that I personally found that very meaningful. And when I arrived here in Wellington specifically, uh, six years ago, I felt very welcomed by the community and I uh, hope that we can extend uh, that to others joining our community here. Okay, thank you all for coming to this conference. Uh, I've had a lot of comments saying, Jen, you've put together a fantastic conference, well done. But I really feel like I just built the house and you all came and lived in it. So thank you very much for coming. Videos are going to be online soon, uh, and uh, sorry, it's a little bit of a short URL. Don't worry, we're going to be tweeting this as well. You don't have to memorize that. It's okay. Um, before we move on with some of the thank yous I want to go through, um, we do have one bit of business to get out of the way first, and that's the um, uh, nz.js awards um, that we talked about, and you uh, probably dropped your vote into the lovely uh, yellow box made by Anna uh, on reception. Um, so I'm actually going to hand over uh, to Anna uh, to talk about those. Ah. We had to put you off to the side because there were no seats left. <laughs> Here we are, Anna. Thank you, everyone who voted and become the votes and got uh, some nice results. I'll just announce it a little bit later. And I give the mic to Jonathan from uh, Amazon um, Web Services to announce the winners, winners and to give them a very nice prizes. Good afternoon. Uh, thanks for letting me participate um, briefly in this. Uh, Amazon Web Services, we're really um, happy to uh, provide uh, two prizes for the, the two awards. So the first award is for a JS JavaScript Contributor of the Year. Um, and uh, the prize for this is $500 of Amazon Web Services credit, um, valid for the next year. Um, <laughs> And uh, so the, the winner of this award is, um, is Jen. So, uh, so come on, come on. So come over, come over. Okay, so, okay, so congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, so the, and we have a nice certificate. Congratulations. So the second, uh, the second award is for JavaScript Educator of the Year, and um, and again, $500 Amazon Web Services uh, voucher valid for the next year, um, and this goes to Prototype Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations, and uh, thanks a lot. Exit, no, enter, stage, left, right, I forget. It's been too long since I was a stage manager. Okay, it's conference fact time. Yeah, okay, that's my fabulous dancing pose. Um, so the uh, initial conference um, that I put up a post on our GitHub issues, and I said, we should really do a conference. That was back in um, November 2015. <laughs> Uh, that's quite a long time ago. Uh, we had uh, 31 talks, one panel, and two workshops. We had 10 speakers fly in uh, internationally. The conference cost about $65,000. Uh, we got 25K from your buying tickets, thanks. And we also got um, 40K from our fabulous speakers, which, as you can see, is roughly equivalent. Yay! <laughs> Uh, we consumed approximately 30 kgs of coffee beans. <laughs> well done. Gosh. I didn't even contribute because I, uh, I don't even like coffee. <laughs> um, and uh, also, I want to speak briefly about our diversity and financial aid program. Um, so I have to say um, thank you to Media Suite for uh, funding our diversity and financial aid program. Um, as you saw from the previous slide, we do rely on sponsorship to be able to make these sorts of events happen. Uh, we had 18 applications through this program, uh, of which we approved 16, who were all New Zealanders. Um, on average, we gave up about $253 um, to those applicants. 
uh, we had nine women apply, um, five uh, people of colour and a three LGBTQ. Um, and it was sort of an equal split between people who were students, uh, people who were unwaged, and those that were employed in IT but still needed a hand getting here. Um, so I'm really happy that that program was a success and I hope we'll be able to expand it in, in future. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of thanks to give. So I'm going to whip through these real quick because uh, you've all got planes to catch or other places to be or pubs to be at to have a nice pint with your friends. Um, you mean new friends, perhaps. But first of all, um, we really do have to thank our sponsors. As you saw from the previous slides, we really do rely on them. In particular, uh, Catalyst, our platinum sponsor, Solnet, Talent Army, Pushpay and Little Giant, um, our gold sponsors. Uh, Media Suite for the Diversity and Financial Aid Fund, uh, Spring Load and Trade Me, Silver Sponsors, and um, also um, our bronze sponsors, Rabid, Summer of Tech, Inspiral Dev Academy, Silver Stripe, Inspiral Root Systems, and Fairfax stuff as well. <laughs> so thank you so much to them. Uh, of course, we also have to thank our amazing speakers and workshop runners. Um, I'm not going to read all of those names out because we've been here a long time, but please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> our paper review committee, um, which is Roger, Stevie and Ryan um, and myself, um, I've heard a lot of compliments for um, the, the talks that have been uh, accepted into the conference, and um, these folks really helped to winnow that down. But I also do want to mention, I don't have a slide for it, for all of the, you that submitted a talk and didn't get accepted, thank you very much. We really appreciate that. I've given some feedback personally to some of you, and if others do want to approach me for feedback on your proposal, you're welcome to do that. Um, the social event last night, I hope you all had a, a good time. Um, Roger, thank you so much for helping to organise that. And Matt, thank you um, for agreeing to play us some music. Uh, I very much appreciate it. Um, our all-important AV team, um, Ryan and Hadley from the venue, and all of Ryan's volunteer team as well, um, we thank you so much. And I actually want to give them a special round of applause because it's a really hard job. <laughs> Uh, you will have seen her running around between sessions frantically, and I think I can see her tweeting right now. Uh, Christina, our photographer, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> and of course, all the rest of our fantastic volunteers. You know, the last conference I was involved in running, uh, I didn't get to see a single talk. And this conference, I, I have gotten to see some, some of the amazing talks, and I'm really grateful to all of the volunteers for pitching and making that a possibility for me. So. Thank you so much, and in particular to Tom Eastman for running the volunteer team. Please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> and last but not least, all of you for showing up. As I said, uh, I built the house, you came up and showed in it, you made it into a home, you lived in it, you are the community, you make this thing happen. Um, without you, I would just be me talking into a mic at an empty room and that wouldn't be very exciting. <laughs> Might be a bit self aggrandizing Okay, uh, so, oh, okay, here we go. I really hate these bits, yeah. by the way. You put me on the spot totally. <laughs> so obviously this is our first JSCon, uh, and obviously the first one is always going to be the hardest, but I would like to point out that this is all down to one person's tireless dedication to put this on. So on behalf of everybody here, the, co uh, the committee for, for the society, we'd just like to say a big thank you to you, Jen. Uh, for putting it on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I should have predicted that would happen. <laughs> okay, and on that very um, uh, interesting note, uh, we have to say, what happens next? Uh, so I did this thing. It was mostly me, because it turns out I'm really, really bad at delegating. Uh, awful. Um, but it was always my intention in starting this conference that we would try and rotate around between cities. 
Um, that's for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, uh, we get a different audience of students and people who have um, not very much financial privilege and would like to be able to attend the conference. And um, two, it means I don't have to run it next year. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, though, um, it is fully my intent to write up my learnings. Um, f f did I just use the word learnings? I apologize. Uh, to write up everything that I've learned from this experience and to make that open source and available uh, for anybody that would like to learn from it. And uh, the committee um, are going to be having some talks about what we can do in the future. And if you have got that little spark in your brain that's saying, maybe I could step up, um, maybe I've got some friends that will help me, and maybe we could bring this thing to Christchurch or Auckland, uh, Dunedin, uh, Hamilton, wherever, you name it, uh, we may well be looking for some applications for that. Um, in fact, uh, I've already got a GitHub issue, uh, so you can comment on there. <laughs> All right, so that was nz.jscon. Thank you, everybody, so much for showing up. And I uh, hope the sunshine is still going outside. Have a lovely weekend. And again, thank you so much for coming. <laughs>